Welcome to another episode of the Collector's Review. In this episode of Fake vs. Real, we're going to be unboxing the Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning, the Roy Burns NECA action figure. Can you tell which one's fake and which one's real? Make sure you stay tuned. Welcome to another episode with the collector's review of Fake vs. Real. We're going to be taking you up close to the Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning Action Figure by NECA. Before I get into it, you know the collection dimension brings you everything from comic book, action figure unboxings, statue unboxings, anything that has to do with collectibles. So make sure if you can't for your boy, hit that little red button at the bottom, that subscribe button for me. And let's get to this action figure right here. I don't know if you can tell which one's fake and which one's real. In this episode, this is a very close one. Very detailed on this one. It seems as they come along with the newer series and everything, they've been getting a lot better on duplicating the, the bootlegs. And... Or whatever you guys want to call them, bootlegs, uh, QC issues, whatever. We go through this all the time. People say there's not bootlegs. But if you go to NECA's Twitter page, they admit that there are bootlegs out there. And there's a lot of them out there. So they don't never turn down that there's bootlegs out there. They admit it. You can even call them. But anyways, let's get on with this action figure. I know some of you guys have been waiting for it. I don't know if you can tell. Right now, what we're looking at is the red coming from the eyes on this episode real quick. So this one's darker. Let me see if I can change the lighting up real quick so you guys can see it. It's hard to tell. This one is the real one and this one is the fake one. So you can tell on the light, the eyes right here. Let me bring them close together. This red is darker than this red on this side and it's very slight so the box they got very close it's a it's a very good copy of it so this is the front and like always if you guys see something that I don't man drop it in the comments I always talk back and then uh, one thing I noticed is the darkness in this from when I see it right here in person the shine has a different when you when you shine the light on it it has more of like a faded like there was a laminate laid on top of it and all the bubbles didn't get out like it's very small bubbles and everything but it's like it's on there with this one you don't get that at all from what i've seen so again this is what i've received and this one came from the same unboxing of the ultimate chucky action figure so i don't know if you guys caught that video make sure you guys check out that video it will be one of the ones in the description so this is the side view like i said box is very close just a slight when it's up in hand when you look at it there's just a slight fading on the fake one of the five and the, the the lettering and stuff but it's just so slight like i said it's hard to catch very hard to catch let me see if you guys can see it at all but it's so slight same thing with the back they got the back on pretty good man it's not pretty good real good actually with me from what i seen and again you guys see anything Shoot it in the comments. Then this is the bottom. So the top is the real, bottom is the fake. And with this one, it's a slight variation. And if you could tell this white compared to this white. And the same thing with this. So slight though, but everything else, numbers match up. And like I said, the Chucky one, man, you get to really tell in the Chucky one. And then, like I said in my other video before, almost all the fakes that I get, a lot of them come with the paint. You guys have seen that. I know some NECA figures come, have come like that before. I personally, not saying they're not out there. I know they're out there. I personally have not yet received one that has the paint on there like the bootlegs be coming. So that's the paint from his thing, and I'll be showing you the figure up close. So let me just show you the picture inside. The picture inside is 
pretty spot on. So definitely good copy and now so like I said that's what to look for in the boxes let me see if you could tell the difference let me see with the light this is very hard to see you gotta definitely see it up close so real quick let's take you guys up close to the figures let's move from the boxes and give you guys what you guys been waiting for so here we go bring them close up I don't know if you guys seen the other video I already did the unboxing of the real one and in this episode it is fake versus real so like I said I unboxed this one already so I'll show you the articulation on the fake one in a second let's look up close from this one I seen right away let me get this light right if you see on the fake one the paint on the nose came off that's where it scratched off onto the plastic all right let's look up close here we go so you could tell right there the paint off the fake one on the mask came came off a little bit that's where we had it on the plastic so these are the two if there's anything that you guys see just shoot it in the comments put his mask down real quick looks like I don't know the real head is a little bit smaller than the fake one I don't know if you guys got that the neck too if you could tell with the neck the the real one is sitting a little bit lower And then the shoulders look a little bit different too. This one looks wider a little bit. And then on the real one, if you look at the skin, we'll get closer to that. I'll take off the mask. But the skin looks a little bit more pink too. And then one thing I've seen with this, this one is more shiny. So if you look at the legs, there's a bit more shininess to it. Then this one and then the fake one right there that's very shiny all the blood and I actually do kind of like it compared to the real one the real one has a little bit less of a shininess and less of a this one's real red compared to this so the blood on here is a little bit faded and then let me take off the mask real quick I'll show you the mask in a second Let's look up close with his face. So his face doesn't actually look bad for the fake one. Like I said, it looks like a tad bit different shape. You guys seeing the same thing I've seen? This is a little bit wider, it seems, than the fake one. There's the back of the head. And like I said, this one uses a little bit more pink. So if you see right there, compared to the fake one, the fake one where the pink is, they use a little bit more of his skin tone. And you can actually really see it on the bottom of the head. Give me one second, I'll show you what I mean. So I pop them off real quick. Left is the fake. Left is the fake, right is the real. So right here is where I'm talking about. So you can really tell, you see how that's pink there compared to, there's no pink, it's mainly just skin tone over there. So yes, that is a paint job, but just showing you what I'm seeing and what I mean. So same thing with the ear, I don't know if you guys can tell. It's just a little bit more red, a little bit more darker on this paint job. And then the lines like right there, this pink stands out more like that skin tone. But not bad all overall. Let me pop his head back on.
So it pops his head back on. And like always guys, I'm showing you guys what I received and this is what I received. I got this one straight from NECA and this one came from China. Same one like that I said, the Chucky. So looking at the body real quick. The arm, the hands are pretty good. Not bad and there's just a slight difference in the color. I don't know if you guys can see the difference in the color. Same thing with this green. There's a little slight difference in the color of green. Shoes aren't bad. The paint job on these shoes are better than this one. There's a little bit of fading on there, but you know NECA can do that sometimes. But overall, get in on those shoes. There's more mistakes with the fake one where the silver is compared to the real. The real silver is pretty good. Circles are pretty nice. And there's some of the, this one's pretty good on this shoe. But this one has a couple splotches on it. Then underneath, looking at underneath, here goes their feet. Let me shine on it a little bit. See if I can get a focus here. Let me see. Here we go. So left is the fake, right is the real. Seems that the left has a little bit more shininess. This this one right here does, but it looks like. All right, sorry. Here, so you guys can read. So there you go, NECA 2019, made, made in China, the T&M. This one's more shiny, and you see around here where the plastic was, that's all rough. Compared to the real one. So that's a little bit more rough on that one, but that is not a tell-all. Like I said, you got the cuts right there, let me bring them in close. So that's the two difference with the cuts. other hand I guess that's still pretty good pretty good they do Jason they do the Jason ones real pretty good man out of all the ones that I've seen with the fake fake ones so real quick let me take you through the points of articulation ah, let me show you the mask real quick these are the mask close-up Boom. And you see you just see a little bit more of the blue underneath this one with the screw with the paint job see how the paint job's done and here's the side the fake one is pretty good on the side for the straps straps are pretty good both in, insides of them are blue sorry this one's just more painted blue on the real one this one is more of a faded blue then the sides and like I said so with the mask all I can see is really the paint job this one's a little bit more darker Alright, so let's look at the articulation real quick. This is my first time moving the fake one. So, arms out. Head up. Head down. Compared to the real one. This is his head up, so... Head down. Head down. So, the fake one... The fake one, like I said, his neck is longer on this one, so he actually does move his neck better than the real one, to say that. So he moves it side to side. Like I said, you want to see the articulation for the real one, check out the other video that's going to be in the description or at the end. So let's move his elbow real quick. He can touch his face. See how far he can bend it in without breaking his arm. That's his elbow right there. 
power mild expand spins all the way around he has a little chest piece but it's not that great then his arm too so both of his arms bend pretty good and right now like I said this one's the same price splits real good this is the same price though as the real one so really no reason to go with a fake one so foot up foot down doesn't uh, move side to side just a little bit there we go move that around so the articulation on this one ain't bad it's not bad at all for the fake versus real so let me put them right here and let's get to showing you guys the pieces that they came with so we'll start with these so left is the fake right is the real and this one is very very accurate so pretty good they're getting real close man with them and uh, just a little bit you can tell with the red the red is just a little bit different just a so slight <laughs> Okay, so we got those two pieces. <clears throat> we got these two pieces. And these two are pretty good too. This black line on this one's just a little bit faded on the fake one. And this red, again, the red is a slight difference. But then again, you got this white mark right there. Sorry. You got the white mark right there that you can tell. So that's very close though. Let's look at the wood real quick. So this is a piece of wood. Right is the real. Left is the fake. So this is how it's supposed to go, sorry. So paint jobs are pretty similar. Practically the same. The ends look good. The bottoms. So that's the wood. Look at the knives. These are the knives. Just a little bit more blood on the fake one. Pretty accurate right there. Let's see another Chucky one. The Chucky one had different sizes. These seem to be the same size. Pretty close. Pretty sure there's some slight, slight differences. I like the wood on it though. So then look. Oh, sorry. Then. These are both. really accurate so actually the fake one I think is better than the real one then we got the big old
one on the fake one just slightly off but NECA definitely can make that mistake so I'm not saying that NECA can I'm just pointing out the differences so this is the tape that was on this one just wait So with this, this is the two pokers, left is the fake, right is the real. Both of these look... Both of these look practically the same. No differences in these. None that I can see. Then we have the straps. So the left is the fake, right is the real. And their brown is just slightly, slightly off. You can tell in looking at these two. The real one's darker than the, the fake one. And both of them look the same. See, it's like this was painted up until that. Look at the back real quick. That's the back. So the fake one's all messed up on the back. Look at the bottom of them. Bottom piece is better than the other one, but the brown is still off, like I said. But overall, this figure is pretty spot on with the fake versus the real. I just received in the uh, fake. Pennywise GameStop variant figure That's the one the GameStop variant is the one with the lenticular on the front where it changes pictures So there's that one has a big difference. So in this one what I seen like I said the neck Is definitely a big and the head to me is different But overall for the action figure it was a real good action figure. He seems a little bit more skinnier by the waist you see the arms and everything skinnier by the waist but overall figures real good articulation is on point the detail is pretty good on point the mask so overall I give this one high on the on the list of ones that I received for a fake like I said the Jason ones they really do real well so make sure you guys keep your eyes open I'm gonna be doing the Pennywise one this week and then you can also tell right there, there's a paint, green paint on his neck, on the fake one, but <clears throat> that's not a huge, huge deal. So I'll be doing the Pennywise one, like I said, fake versus real. Make sure you guys stick with the look out for that one, because that one's a big difference in figures, and you'll be able to tell the difference a lot. Um, and if that one and if that episode doesn't tell you that they make bootlegs, then I don't know what's going to convince you guys. So until next time, like always, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you guys check out my other videos. I'm going to be dropping the diorama, how to diorama on the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, sex accessory set. So like always, thanks for joining me for another episode of Fake vs. Real. Till next time, this is the Collector's Review. We out. Peace.